So first one EBS. EBS stands for electronic bank statement. So we have two types of BRS in a, or SAP. One is a manual BRS and second one is a automatic BRS. So mostly every company they are using the EBS concept only. So EBS stands for electronic bank statement. Using this EBS process, we can clear the GL balances. At the same time, we can move the GL balances to our main bank account directly. So it means, so we have a couple of GLs are there, like WOP, like vendor outgoing, um, outgoing GL, incoming GL, and main bank GL. With the help of the EBS concept, what we will do, we will download one flat file from our bank portal. Directly, we will upload that port we will upload the flat file into our SAP. So once if you upload the flat file into SAP, automatically as per the bank transaction, system will clear the GLs. It means whatever transactions are updated in the bank statement. So based on those transactions, system will clear the GLs in our SAP system. So for this one, first we have to go, we have as a FI consultant, we have to prepare the EBS configuration. So first we will do the EBS configuration. Next we will pass some entries. Then we will download one flat file from the bank. Then we will do this process. Okay. So ultimately, with the help of this, with the help of this EBS process, we are going. We are going to move our GL balances from outgoing GL to incoming GL to main bank account. So always our our SAP main bank balance is, is equal to our main bank, our HDFC or any other bank balance. Okay, so with the help of this process, we are going to match those balances. So to do this process, first we have to do some, some configuration. So these configurations are as follows. The step one is the first we have to create the bank GL. Bank GL means for any EBS process first we should create one main bank outgoing incoming bank okay so outgoing incoming is there all our vendor payments we have to do with outgoing bank gl all our customer all our invoice incoming invoices we have to, for that incoming invoices we have to use the incoming bank gl so first what we will do we will create the gl then we will go for the next process so i'm going to fs00 cash and bank already i have a couple of banks are there with the help of this reference I, i'm going to create the new gls suppose here you can see i have icsa main bank is there, outgoing bank and incoming bank so i will take this uh, hd uh, icsa bank main bank and i will create for the new bank let me take the freeze one three series is completed four series is available so copy as one zero i'm creating four zero this is i'm creating the fourth series so instead of icsa main bank i'm giving So I have created one S bank. This is a S bank main account. Then save the data. I have an S bank. So this is the outgoing GL.
this is a incoming gl so now i have created three gls uh, main bank gl outgoing gl and incoming gl for any kind of the vendor payments i will use this outgoing gl any kind of the incoming payments i will use this incoming gl so step one is the first we have to create the all we have to create the gls we have to create main bank gl outgoing gl and incoming gl okay after creating the gls in fs00 we have to create the house bank if you have the start if you have predefined house bank you can use your house bank or else you can create